Good morning, you guys. So I am going to film a um, day in the life, a 24 hour around the clock, um, just to kind of capture exactly <laughs> what is going on. So it's her eight o'clock feed and we'll end at her eight o'clock feed in the morning. Um, but yeah, so we just woke up um, for the morning. I normally start my day at her eight o'clock feed. Um, I have her bottle in the uh, hot water and I'm going to put it in her tube, her feeding bag. And then I, I, right now I'm going to change her. I got these Love's diapers at my baby shower. Not a fan. Um, I actually did like a Walmart brand, a parent's choice. I really like those. So I'm surprised. And uh, I still have a bunch of huggies from the hospital. Um, so, yeah, I got a lot of these. Though. I got to run through them. So it just is what it is. But, yeah, so I'm going to change Tana Bear. Let's see if I can put you guys up a bit. She's just really stretching, y'all. She just woke up. Say good morning. Good morning. Yeah, let me uh, get her, get a wipe really quickly. So, um, so, um, I've seen you guys' comments. I'm about to go through them today and, um, reply. Oh, yeah, she didn't poop. Okay, and, um, I forgot. There are some things that I did forget to put in my breastfeeding video because, there, there are things that I started and stopped very early on. And that was the uh the tea. I have two two things of two things. What do they call like two boxes of the tea, uh the mother's milk tea, and I got another one. And maybe some point today I can get down there and pull them out and show you guys what they actually are. And um so you can know. But yeah, I did I tried tea, y'all. I have seen and I also omitted that I've seen four. Okay, four different lactation consultants. And they all just are like, do this, do that, do this. One of them put me on all of those vitamins. And um, just trying things. They pumped me, uh, meaning that I brought my pump there. They put the flanges on my breast and sat there through a pumping session with me to see if it was user error. And um, I've had my flanges sized professionally <laughs> um, by who's supposed to be like the best in Dallas to get to, you know, and that, that was profound for a lot of moms I saw um, on Facebook. So I went to her and they all were showing their results. Nothing. Still the same thing. 60 mLs or 80 mLs now in one day. Um, what else did I omit that I can think of? Um, that may be it, y'all, but I'm telling y'all, it. I have been... <laughs> working at producing because she my breast milk sits so well on her stomach and she doesn't have these have any spit up she doesn't get gassy and um you know but i don't have enough <laughs> don't have enough and that, and it's okay it's okay i did see something about in my research something about how your tissue could just not <laughs> produce that much milk you know, that's a thing. And maybe, I'm not giving up, but maybe that's just the conditioning I have. Y'all have low progesterone as it is, where um, it's hard for me to uh, stay pregnant. I can get pregnant, but some months I don't ovulate because my pituitary gland isn't activated to tell me, I mean, to tell my body to kick out the progesterone hormone. So there are a lot of things that I, I go through that I probably, you know, probably just don't produce a whole lot. And that's fine. You know, it is what it is. Like I told y'all, I am not ashamed. I'm not worried about it. Like, my little baby here is such a, a blessing and a miracle. Like, I am not tripping <laughs> over breastfeeding. I'm really not. Like, some people don't even try to breastfeed. Don't even know they can't, you know, because they go straight to the formula. Some people don't have the time, the patience. So, that's my um my moment with uh, God and my baby just to say what I do have. I'm going to do my best effort to get to you, and um, that's that. And I'm going to be thankful that something's coming out, you know? And so I want to be just, in, in this in this course, I want to make sure that I'm grateful and I'm thankful and that I'm not, um, you know, just that I'm not negative and that I'm not being ungrateful for the things that I do have, okay? So I wanted to make sure that you guys understood where, where I was coming from. I really can't think off the top of my head any other Things that I was doing, I know the milk and the, I don't know, it, it's, y'all, it ain't like I'm not trying out here. I promise you, like, if you're telling me tips or something, I've probably done it, but um, it just didn't work for me. But a lot of, the biggest thing, though, was my water intake, y'all. I did 
you know, right now, since I'm like content with my production, I'm not as big on, I got to get the three liters down every day as I was in the NICU. In the NICU, I was like, I got to get these three liters down no matter what. But now, um, which is hence why we uh, are going to film this video. You guys, my life is, is very difficult. Um, I, this whole video I did kicked off with a conversation I had with my mom yesterday because I was so tired. She called me about four o'clock. I couldn't get back to her about eight o'clock at night. And she keeps asking me, and she's just being a mom, but she keeps asking me, are you reading to her? That makes the baby smart. Make sure you're reading to her. And I'm like, I don't have time. Like if I can read to her, I will. And so I was like, you know what? Let me break it down to you. The lifestyle that we have to live since she's home. And maybe you can think or be more cognizant of your words in dealing with me because I'm running on fumes, literally, you guys. And so um, I had a talk with her and she didn't realize all that I had going on. So I'm actually filming this today, y'all. You will see. I'm going to film a day in my life. And so I will give you a little quick rundown verbally. Um, and, um, so basically she eats every, every three hours, two, five, eight, 11, each way on the clock. Right. So at two, when my alarm goes off, I have to go downstairs, get her milk, run hot water. You can't microwave the milk. I have to run hot water and let it steep in the hot water so that it can warm up her milk. Okay. Now, most times, like if you, if you have a baby that's not on a feeding tube, you can just make your bottle, come stick it in your baby's mouth. You can literally lie there with them, get some sleep and hold them the the bottle and that be that right or you can rest or relax and just hold the bottle like that and that's that right no 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 not with me okay so i have to steep her milk i come back upstairs and then i change the diaper that's what i just did and then the next thing i'm gonna do is pour the milk in her pump then i have to prime the milk through the pump then i have to attach the pump to her and let it run over a course of 45 minutes in that course of 45 minutes that she's eating i have to be sure that her, the pump does not malfunction sometimes Either I'm sleepy, sometimes I don't put the the connections in tight enough. The milk may run on the floor, may run on her clothes. Lord forbid that happens. I'm very careful. That only happened to me one time since so she's been home on the 21st and it's now March 7th. And so um, you know, I'm very, I'm very aware because I just it's you know, I, then I would have to change her and wipe her down. I don't want to go through that. So um, you know, I watch uh, I watch <laughs> I watch her um her feet as best I can. I'm in and out of consciousness sleep, but I am um, like watching her feed and being sure like nothing's no errors on the pump and nothing and the feed is not you know in vain that's a 45 minute so it's it's almost three o'clock at that point because you got to think it takes me a little while to get downstairs make the you know heat up the milk and get back up here and change her so 45 minutes you may say an hour, you may as well say an hour right so from two to three that's what i'm doing now i have to be back up at five to do it all over again it gives me two hours you guys to sleep two hours so I have, I don't know about you, but I can't just fall asleep like that. So I have to kind of lie there and get myself back rested because I'm up and I'm active and I'm making bottles and changing. And then I'm up, up, you know, it's not like I'm doing anything um, that doesn't require my focus. So I have to turn on my brain. Then I have to shut it off. Right. And I have to shut it off for what I would like to be two hours, but normally it's like an hour and a half, maybe just one hour. Sometimes I make snooze. So at two o'clock, if that thing goes off, I may snooze at two 30. It pushes me behind. So there are a lot of moving parts to that. I can't just throw a bottle in my baby's mouth and go on. Like, I wish that was my my thing, but that's not our journey. That's not what's in the plans for us, and that's fine. But to tell me, like, I'll go back to my mom, to tell me, are you reading to her? Like, be glad that she's getting her feed because, y'all, some, some, oh, this is another thing I did say. Some of those feeds in the first week when we came home, y'all, I literally slept through the alarm because I just could not get up. Like, <laughs> I just couldn't force my body wouldn't wake up. I was just so tired and out of it. And she wasn't getting the nutrients she needed. So she wasn't growing and, and you know, gaining weight like she should. Because, you know, I'm I'm just so tired. And these are my night feeds. Like I'm talking about two in the morning or whatever. Um, I'm sitting up in the room with, with her. My husband has to go to work in the morning, so I'm not putting it on him. You know, we're I'm off my job so that I can take care of my baby. You know, that's that's what that is. And so I have to get into a routine, but it's, it's hard. So normally, and you'll probably see, you will see today. I, I have a hair appointment today, so you probably won't be able to see. But when he gets off at six, he comes up here and he stays with her for a few hours. Um, no, for two hours. Um, while I can go downstairs, I can do some things that I need to do, like 
if I want to get laundry done, fold clothes, wash dishes, if I want to cook something, if I want to spend time with Mason, like things like that, he'll come, you know, as soon as he gets off work. And he's in a very, very demanding job, y'all. He's in sales in the mortgage industry, and his job is very, very tough. And so, um, you know, he's tired, but he likes to come and lay and relax with her because he can decompress, and I can get out of here. I can get out of these four walls and do other things around the house that kind of make me happy. And so, yeah, um, he'll come do that at 6 o'clock, but I have to leave here today at 530. I have a hair appointment because I'm tired of it looking like this, y'all. I can't go no more. So I'm going to go get my hair done, um, and I'll just let you guys know um, what I would have been doing had I not had to leave. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just letting you guys know, like, just that I felt like it was an inconsiderate thing to press me about reading to my child. Like, I do good to feed her. I do good to wake up. Also, during her feeds, I have to give her medicines through her port, which I'm going to show you guys. So I have to give her a multivitamin that I do put in her milk and shake up, and I also have to push uh, a fluid into her port during the middle of her feed once a day. So these are things that I have to keep up with. I have to give her a breathing treatment twice a day, which where I have to, I'll let you see that. I have to literally hold this, you know, nebulizer over her for like 15 minutes. It just goes very slow and I have to hold it over her. And so like my time is just, it's, it's not normal, <laughs> you know, and it's hard, y'all. It's hard, but I wanted this. I asked for this uh, and I'm blessed to have it um in the whatever manner that i that i was allowed to experience it i am blessed i'm gonna be thankful for that and if it doesn't include reading <laughs> most days it's not gonna include it because our mental health and our relaxation is more important at this moment so let me get her food prepared and uh i'm gonna lie her down i lie i laid her down on her belly last night because she was um tripping she was like I don't know if she was gassy or what, but I'm so glad Isha told me in my comments, y'all, that Finu Greek made her baby gassy because I never heard that before. But um, let me turn this around one moment. <sighs> okay, so I got the milk in the bag. That's her 60 mLs. And now I have to get my pump on. Let it go through what it goes through. All right, so she gets 45 minutes with 60 mLs. That's what she's on. And I have to clear it out. She got 46 here, so I have to clear that out because it'll stop. Yeah, so now I need to prime this thing because it needs to go through like that all the way down to the end. And I have to sit here and hold this thing till it gets all the way <laughs> here so I'll do that okay the line is primed it's at the end and now I'm going to um I left her little port out oh gosh <laughs> through her onesie yeah I hate when she does this cause it just really works me um, this onesie zips up to the top. I usually get the ones that zip both ways, but this one doesn't. So I just put her little port out and um, I have it clamped here. And I'm just going to attach these two pieces together while she loses her mind over her pacifier and kicks me in the process as if I'm the one who dropped it. So there, I usually try to put this behind a pillow or something, get it out of her way. Settle down, girl, get your binky. Settle down. Move that up, okay. So she's attached here. And then I make sure that it's on 45 minutes, 60 mLs, and I'm just going to hit run. So that's going to run over 45 minutes. Now, I have 45 minutes to keep putting this thing in her mouth because she's going to scream. <laughs> and uh, also, I need to clean up my area. I need to go put my breast milk that I pumped in the fridge. And I need to pump again. That's another thing. Pumping. 
that's another thing pumping um in between this i forgot to add to the little two hour window i have oh i didn't unclamp it's letting me know see you always make a mistake right when well, i always but i have to unclamp this let the flow go through i also got to give her back her pacifier and she's yelling at me. And it came right out. See, this is stuff I can't deal with. But yeah, so I need to go pump again. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to empty that uh, 10 mLs into uh, the bottle that I collect throughout the day. And then when I come back up here, I can put in her meds. So let's get that going. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. She dropped that thing again, and she's. I'm leaving. I'm leaving it there. That's what we doing. Cause who do not have time is me. Morning. Yeah, I think I slept pretty good. And I didn't miss any of her feeds. <sighs> stairs all because she dropped her pacifier <sighs> just got my husband's breakfast together I did find another 10 mls I pumped at some point overnight and so I combined those two in the fridge of my breast milk and I made me I'm about to pump again and I made me um bowl of cheerios so yeah i'm about to eat this oh i'm glad i saw this i need to put her medicine in her port so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna pause her feed and then i'm gonna put her medicine in this port here And um, you just draw it up on a syringe. So, oh, I didn't clamp. I didn't clamp. So you see milk spilled out because I didn't clamp. See, this is the stuff I'm talking about. What? And you're talking about, did you read? Did I not get my bed with? So now I have to change the sheets. So, yeah. Have mercy on you, girl. I do have a pad up under here, y'all. Mattress pad, and I can change her sheets. So I'm gonna push that in. Oh, I gotta unclamp it. I'm like, why isn't it going? I haven't filmed this before, so it's kind of, it's a lot. Reclamp it, unscrew it, put it back in here, unclamp it. So I'm not gonna move her while she's eating. Um, to clean that up, what I am going to do is blot it up with a burp cloth, which I should have had under here anyway. I normally feed her with a burp, burping cloth laying under her head and over here, but today not so. 
I have our burp cloths in here. Fold it, ready to go. Let me just blot this a little bit because I don't want to move her. Oh, I'm showing y'all the pillow. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get excess up. And then what I'm going to do is lay it underneath her. One moment. All right, so that's how I normally feed her. So that if I had a mistake like that, it would have caught it. But, of course, today it's real time. Sometimes you forget. And if you take too long, this annoying-ass pump will tell you that you're on pause for too long. And she will continue to drop her pacifier. And I have to sit here and give it back to her because she will scream bloody murder. Put it back on run. Make sure I unclamped it. Yeah, because if you don't, it will start beeping again and tell you that it's a block in the cord. So, yeah. What I can do with this moment is finish. I will start. <sighs> See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. For real. This is for real. <laughs> I'm going to start reading. I mean, reading. Eating my cereal. And I want to get down there and do a load of her laundry. When I take my bowl down, I'm going to put these in the wash. And, uh yeah so yep yeah, this is what i'm doing back and forth back and forth y'all need to see this so i'll catch y'all in the next one and it's about nine o'clock about nine fifteen. um and i got her down so what i like to do around this time is um sneak me in the shower brush my teeth wash my face get me the longest possible shower <laughs> i can get hold on there we go until she wakes up, I have to normally get in here and find something quick I can just throw on. Um, I'm not looking to be cute or nothing like that because <laughs> um, I'm just in the house with the baby. So I probably will throw on your yeah, oversized uh, t-shirt and some shorts. Here we go. Whatever shorts come up. That's what I'll do. Move my bras out of this closet to my nightstand. That probably wasn't a good idea. I was just trying to make room, but I never remember. Okay, so like I was saying, is I usually um I move my bras and things over um so that I can have room in my closet because those shelves aren't that deep that they in the built-in and um. I never remember <laughs> that I actually moved my things. Uh-oh, sorry, y'all. So, I may need to rethink that, redo what I got going on in my closet. But I'm enjoying it so far. I have to go to a funeral tomorrow, you guys. So, I got my dress out. I need to get it pressed. And I'm going to wear this this shoe um i got these these are auto i got them at a uh, ross though for i'm sure cheap uh oh i'm sure cheap all right so let me jump in the tub and get myself together real quick real quick i wanted to show y'all um that i do have these teas here's the mother's milk here and i have three boxes of what is this lactation support herbal tea so y'all i am really really <laughs> if 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 it's out there i probably taking it by now okay y'all have to excuse my hair because i'm getting it done today so there's no point in going through it pull guys here and yeah. the annoying beep is on because her food is finished so, let's see. I have to stop it. But now I need to prime the rest of this fluid into her. So I just gotta sit here and hold prime. And you see it going. I don't know. I'm bad at filming this, but let's change hands. You see it going. 
Bam. I'm just pounding it into her the rest of the milk. And I put her a little flame by her while I took my shower. Looks like, uh, I don't know if they got it long or not, but it is what it is. I don't know. And she got the hiccups or some acid reflux. That's her when, it, when she pulled her neck up. Got the acid reflux going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Um, I got the suction bulb here. Okay, yeah, ain't nothing in there. This, oh, y'all, it's a lot. It is a lot. She rarely does this, but you done? Are you finished or are you done? Let me get a towel for her. I keep washcloths out as well, and she's oh, she's about to take a bath too today. Yep, yeah, but that's when I can tell she's about to spit up. At least I got my shower. <laughs> Man, I'm still priming this rest of this milk into her. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to change out her feet into it. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the whole thing in, into her belly. Normally I stop right here and leave this attached, but it's time to clean this one and attach a new one on her next feet. I do that every morning, but since I was filming, I forgot. So I'm just pushing the rest of that milk all the way to the bottom. There we go. It's at the bottom. All right. And I need to unlock, I need to clean up around her area here. She don't like me touching it. But what can you do, right? I gotta clean it, girl. And I got a lot of other things I need to clean. Can I get my phone situated? Let's see. Ugh. Okay, that's my training. Girl, you gotta spit up on your pillow too. Girl, let's wipe that down. So we're gonna have hella laundry. Um, let's see, lock. I'm gonna take her belly band off. I'm so. So she spit up on her baby. She spit up on the little towel down here. So I gotta wash all of this, all of this stuff in her pillow. Uh, you probably can't see it because it's paper right here. So yeah, laundry time. Mind you, the question of the day is, did I read to the baby? So I took a little bit, poured off, and I just gotta flush this with hot water um, and get the milk out of it and then I soak it in soapy water and um, dry it and it comes out this one's the one that I already rinsed out that I'm gonna trade out for that one so as comparison this is the new one this is the one I need to go clean <sighs> so um yeah I'm about to get I guess get the laundry together get it started um and hopefully she goes back to sleep because I got my shower and everything, but I wanted to get her bed together. But I may need to hold her and bond with her because she's wilding out. So I got to figure that out too. So pray for me as I pray for y'all. It's a lot. Still haven't done that breathing treatment. And still the question is, did I read to the baby? All right. So I got her in her swing. I haven't turned it on because she just ate and spit up. I checked her clothes. It's ne nothing was on her clothes. So I did put that little bib on her. And now I'm about to um, strip the bed here. Um, actually, I need to clean and prime this pump out with uh, clear water. And uh, 
I prime it onto this. So any droplets will get into her burp cloth. Then I'm going to strip the bed. Still haven't pumped yet either. But maybe I'll do that first before I go downstairs. But I normally just throw her bears over there with her equipment. This is her equipment and my breast pump. So just a little side for me kind of have things right now that I don't know what to do with them. So it's just housing things for me. But yeah, I'm just going to throw these animals and pillows on that side so that I can strip her bed. Those are my pants. Sometimes I don't like wearing pants in the bed because they give me, uh, give me, they get, uh, Lint, lint on the cover, so I try not to do that. So if I have on some kind of pant, I just drape it over the bed here. So yeah, I'm going to strip our bed and wash our things and get this water. My first, I forgot I need to get this water. Um and prime the pump before I take off uh, everything else. Okay, things are in the wash. Quick update, the new mattress that's gonna take up that gap, the 10 inch mattress, it's on the way. Um, be here Saturday, today is Thursday, so a few days. And then I can move this one down to the trundle bed. She's over here getting her sleep on and trying to be nosy at the same time. Um, so what I'm gonna about to do now is take my vitamins. I'm actually gonna pump. <laughs> and uh, it's one more thing I needed to do. Oh, it's uh, 10, 16, so at 11, it's time to feed her again. So, yeah. I, I'm going to pump for about 30 minutes. Then it'll be time for me to go back downstairs and <laughs> get her um, her other meal together. I was going to prime this pump, y'all. Um, but I had forgot in the morning feed, since I'm filming, I normally don't film. I just do things. So I'm trying to, this is weird for me. <clears throat> but I do get a new feeding bag. And from in here every morning. Every morning at the 8 o'clock feed, I start with a new feeding bag. So I didn't prom that one, just threw it away. And then I'll start this one in her 11 o'clock feed with her new, um, her clean uh, attachment. So yeah, I'm just trying to be sure I got everything together because it's hard to film this and get everything done and try to explain what I have going on or whatever. Sorry about my angle job with my house. I have not cleaned my house since I got home from the hospital and uh, we got home from the NICU on the 21st. Um, so I don't know what's clean, what's not clean. Really don't care right now, but I am cognizant of, you know, showing certain things, especially like if it's like something like my husband or my son kind of left out and it's a personal item or whatever I want to be sure I'm not throwing nobody under the bus because I really don't spend a whole lot of time down there so that's why you get weird angles when I'm downstairs and cut cut clips jump clips and everything it's just because um I need to get there but good thing about that is my nieces are coming here for spring break and I'm so excited and they are going to help me mainly I'm gonna put them on the baby because they are so excited about baby Santana so I'm going to put them on the baby, and I'm going to get down on my knees and clean this damn house up. Like, I need to clean in between the iron rods on my steps. Um, I need to shine my stairs, uh, the steps on my stairs. I need to clean the whole entire downstairs floor. Y'all know how I like to mop. I used to mop every night when the boys would go to sleep, but now can't do all that. I got to be up here, so I'm going to get a good uh, floor cleaning in. Um, 
I kind of do our laundry here and there. I throw it in whenever I can. So that's not a big, it's not piled up. That's the one thing I am keeping up with. And that's the one thing I couldn't keep up with when the baby wasn't here was laundry. Go figure. So, yep. Yeah, um, let me get off of here rambling because I have a, a short window where I got to, and she could eat later than 11, y'all. I probably will wait till 11.15 anyway because she just threw up and she's in this swing rocking. and So I want to be sure I kind of give her some time to settle. So, yeah. Question is, did I read to the baby? All right, you guys. So I just pumped and I got to 20. I normally only get to 10. I probably could do more, but it is 1048. And um, I need to get downstairs and get her um, her bottle going. So, um, And I do have an electric pump, you guys saw, on the side of her bed. But the parts I have to clean, it's like cleaning too many parts so sometimes if I haven't cleaned those parts I just sit here and use my manual pump I actually prefer it more than the um electric pump anyway so you know I don't mind grabbing this and just sitting here squeezing it but I worry about my hands I don't want man hands my hands gonna get big from flexing and squeezing so I try not to use it too much but Tana Bear is still asleep in her swing out of there so I'm gonna go prepare um and also see what I'm gonna do about lunch I think lunch will be grilled cheese for my husband he's still down there working and um yeah so I did still didn't do that breathing treatment I actually should come back up here and do it before her next feed that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do as y'all can see, this video is getting super long, so I thought I'd just speed this up. Oh, Tana Bear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just um, feeding her, preparing her milk, and, you know, about to change her and get her feed going for the 11 o'clock feed. So this is a super long clip, and I was like, yeah, uh, this video is getting super long, so I'm just uh, hang it up. tried to prop her up and she slid in between the pillows so i'm not doing a very good job right now so i'm gonna put her up in her uh swing here and i'm not gonna have it rocking and that's how she's gonna eat at least she'll be elevated just a little bit so get her in her swing i guess i should fix her little bib Can y'all see? 
clear. Man. But um, I have her in a swing. And then I just run her feet like this. She's going to go to sleep. And I need to take this uh, trash. So clear out her paw. Her paw. Yes. Something that I was going to do with me. 45 minutes. Let's see. I'm on Okay. So now her feet is running. And I got to put her diaper in the diaper pail. Let's see here. Close this drawer. And now I need to pour the hot water. Now I normally use, um, the hot water in my bag to, uh, oh, y'all looking at my shirt, I ain't bad blogger. I normally use that hot water in the bag to run it through, but, um, or I have my sterile water here. Normally when I have my sterile water here in full, um, I just pour this out in mason sink, which I'm about to do now. Now I'm going to get her breathing treatment together. My white form is going strong. <sighs> so, I got this ghetto fight system up. This is her nebulizer. It's all on its side. Don't worry about it because I have to sometimes reach it over to her bed. <sighs> but, this is what I have to put her medicine in, her breathing treatment. And then I have to wave this over her face. And I promise you it takes so long. My God, girl, look. She got the little spinner coming out now. Oh, MG. Oh, maybe I need to suction her. So, I need to suction it. Maybe that's just something that was in her. Sitting in her mouth. Taking a wind out of it. Ooh, yeah, whatever you coughing up. Okay. All right, y'all. She should be good. Leave that there. I need you to be still, though. That's fine. You just rocking. You with your binky? Oh, the eyes crying. And now she got little eye boogers. All right. You good, girl? Because I got to do your breathing treatment. Where is the other one? I set them both right here. I'm sure it slid up under you somewhere. Oh, there we go. All right. So. breathing treatment you just take the top out and pour these in she's supposed to get two a day this is so weird doing this from this side but it's the only way I can show y'all so if I, I'm not handling things well forgive me I'm using a different hand Okay. Okay. And with the 
this down. It's 11.26. Let's see when I finish. She hates it. She hates it. So I have to chase her. And I have to just keep turning it around and around. But yeah, I'll let you guys know when we're done. Y'all, Tana Bear is becoming irritable. She had really bad gas. She was like farting really bad. So, um, and burping. So I picked her up. Look at her little face. <laughs> and uh, while her feet is going, and I'm just gonna hold her while her feet is going and um pat her back. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> you wanna do it one more time? Yeah, so she's gassy. So, and now this is her only little comfortable stance, so we'll roll with it, okay? All right, y'all, it's 5.08. Don't mind my, um, the white stuff in my hair is conditioner and probably product buildup, but I just basically detangled and twisted up my hair because, um, the people that be doing my hair, they be like, use it i don't know they be, feel like they rip my hair out of my head when they're combing it out because once they wash it you know with my kind of curls you gotta keep them tamed as you wash but they wash my hair they just dunk me in the water aggravated scratching when you scratch the scalp you mat the hair because you're aggravating it and they do that and it um just comes a mess and a maddedness and so I uh take the time to get some water and conditioner and rake rake it through my hair and um make it easier for whatever damage they about to do but and it's cool they just you know everybody does hair different I've learned over the years and I do my hair all the time and no one else's they do a bunch of different heads so they don't they use the same method and technique on every head and that that don't work sis this bear, oh, where's she with it? Okay, where's she with it? And I'm about to leave here at 5.30, it's 5.09 now. I'm just waiting on her feet to get done. She's not supposed to eat until five, but I started it a little early and changed her. That way I can make my appointment and get back at her next feeding time, which is eight. Um, so I probably don't get back home to about 8.30 or so, but um yeah so trucking along trucking along i do need to do another pumping session but it ain't gonna be right now it'll be when i get back home and um i think that's it so yeah let me get myself together get my socks and shoes on and by that time yeah i should be having having to head out the door in about 20 minutes so and it's raining but i want to be sure i got everything together all right but I am here at Pressed Roots. That's where I get my hair done. I'm about to go in here and get my mojo back. <laughs> y'all so i'm back um got my hair straightened um we didn't have enough time to put curls in it i needed to get back home it's 9 9 i needed to get back home so i probably have to work with it or finish it or probably just wrap it and keep it keep it straight i just needed it conditioned and treated and you know that's the main thing about my hair just keeping it together or whatever and not in those buns y'all because your hair can mat up and stop growing and do weird stuff but here's bear sitting there about to lose her pacifier so she can scream <laughs> and uh i have her feed going she was supposed to eat at eight o'clock she only started eating at like nine about three minutes ago about nine twenty-five. so whatever um, I get her back on track at the 11 o'clock feeding. I'll probably feed her about 11.30. <sighs> um, but 
I'm doing, y'all know I'm doing the best I can. So, yeah, she had a good evening with my husband and brother bear. And um, now she's eating. So, I had stopped by Panda Express and got me some food downstairs. So, while she's sitting here with her feet going, I'm going to run downstairs and get my food going. And then I need to get her bag packed because she's going to stay with my mom while I go to the funeral tomorrow. So, I just need to get her outfit out to wear. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean her up. Probably do her a bedside bath. I was going to put her in the tub, but I'm just going to probably bathe her here um, with some hot water and her soap and tile, towel. And then I'll do a real bath here um, in a couple of days. Um, don't want to mess up her skin and have it peeling and things like that. But yeah, let me go. I'm rambling. It's already a long video. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are in bed. It's 11 08. I'm going to wait a little bit more to feed her just because, uh, her feed had, um, Ended a little bit later, so I may feed her about 11.45. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Sleepy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get a little nap in with her and get up and feed her and change her. But, yeah, so... We're pretty tired. I burped her a little bit. And, uh, yeah. We'll see y'all in a bit. Um, I woke up with, um, my bunny on the floor, so I had to pick it up. That's why I don't wear these things. I'm trying to keep it together, though. Um, it's 2 o'clock, 2.20. You can see past her IV pole, but Bear is right here next to me asleep, and I'm about to pump, and I'm exposed, so, um, yeah, I can't really show her right now, but, um, she's getting her feed, and I changed her, and so, she's knocked out. I put her on her belly to sleep. She slept well, and I guess she went ahead and pooped everything out. And she was squirming from gas. So, yeah, I'm about to pump and get some shut eye before five, the 5 o'clock when I wake up. Because that's when I need to get myself together because I know I need to leave out of this house about 9. So, I need to just be sure I got everything done that I need to do. Because the next time I wake up, um, the funeral is at 11. It's an hour away from me, but I need to drop her off to my mom. So I need to be in my mom's house by 10. So I need to leave here by 9. So yeah, during her 8 o'clock feed, that's when I'm going to go ahead and get get ready and pack her. Her bag is already packed. I just need to pack her her milk, her cold things. Um, Cause she will need one feed on my way back home. Um, yeah, cause she's supposed to eat while the funeral is going on. So, um, yeah, I, I'll be off some off time, some kind of way, cause my mom can't feed her. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm massaging myself so that I can get this milk to come down, and we'll see what I get. Hmm. All right, y'all. So I'm changing Tanner Bear. <laughs> um, it's her five o'clock feed, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, cause I started about eight, so there's really nothing to see. So um, yeah, thank you guys for spending this around the clock time with me. Seeing some things I had to improvise on. One main thing is I didn't cook dinner. I went and ordered the boys. I don't think I put that out here. 
Oh, excuse me. I ordered the boys some um, Uber Eats. Um, and I went and stopped and uh, got me something to eat along the way home. Because uh, I like Mason to have his dinner by at least 8.30 because his bedtime is 9.30. And I left the salon at about 8.50. So that wasn't going to work. But anyway, thank you guys for rocking with me. And see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm really on fire tonight. Can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking.